Hello ladies and gents, it's Nicole and I have a little bit of a, a project share to show you. Um, I uh, went over to a crafting store on um, Monday, Tuesday and I was just trying to find some stuff that I could alter. Not buy any paper or embellishments or anything like that, um, but just, you know, strictly things that I could start to um, alter and I um, found these um, uh, little perpetual calendars and so I got this for uh, $3.99 and then it just happened to be that their all of their wood was 30% off this week and so this is the brand in case you wanted to uh, try to find them online um, now they have other ones that look similar to this except for um, they'll have like an extra piece right here and there will actually be like a little drawer that will pull out at the bottom. They're a little bit more fancier. I found them after I uh, had already found these in the store. And those ones are a little bit more expensive. They're like $14.99 I think. And so I thought this was a pretty good deal. $3.99. And so I wanted to show you what I came up with. This is it. Whoops. So I um found these um, vinyl uh, rub-on stickers and the lady was nice enough because um, I did not know how to match up the numbers and so she was uh, pretty cool and wrote that stuff down for me because I probably would have wasted half the stickers trying to figure out which numbers go on which block so those are the um, those are the um, the numbers and so I just cut out all these little pieces of paper, these little squares, and glued them down there and distressed the edges. And then um, these three little blocks here, they just have the um, the months on there. So I, um, I gessoed all the wood and then just um, left it that color and just went ahead and cut out the strips of paper and uh, modge podged it down and then uh, put these little rub-ons on there. And then here's the um, here's the inside. I went ahead and used some of this um, flat back trim here that I found at Joann's. This stuff is like super inexpensive. It's um, I think like a buck nineteen a yard, and so I really like it. I've used it um, on a couple other projects. And then here are the sides, and these are from. Um, I think these are $3.99 at Michael's, but they're these little metal embellishments. And so there's, you know, you can make actually three calendars um, if you wanted to use them on the sides like this. I put them here on the other side. And then I covered the back. I love this paper here. So that's my little project. Um, you know, I wish I would have found these like around Christmas time because these would have been great or great, um, you know, like stocking stuffers, um, especially, you know, with the new year coming. Um, so I'm going to make a couple. There's a couple birthdays coming up, some of my friends. And um, I think I'm going to start stocking up on these little uh, perpetual calendars and make these next year for uh, stocking stuffers. Oops. The paper that I used um, is from DCWV. It's their uh, floral floral flare stack. And I love this paper. Here it is. Um, that blue that I used. There it is in pink. Uh, it's a fun paper line. I like it. So that is my project. And... Um, I hope you like it and uh, I'll go ahead and I'll flash this again in case you wanted to try to search online for these. It says uh, Sierra Crafts, SierraPacificCrafts.org and maybe you could find them even a little bit cheaper. So you all have a good day and I will catch up with you later. Bye!